Hi. I don't like doing them this direction, but I'm going to today because that's the way we came up and I'm not starting over. So get buckled in. This is Laura from the Yarn Closet in Southern Arizona. Oh, good Lord. All right. I'm actually in here. See, you can hear all of them. See, I'm doing piecing on my bed, litter boxes. So my bedroom is also the kids' playroom, family room. I don't know what you'd call it. So I'm going to do some piecing while I chat. It's been a lovely week. Um, it was actually cool this morning. I'm now hot. I'm in southern Arizona. I'm legally blind, too. FYI. Remember that. I had to take apart part of how I already had this piece together because I had it too many rows. I had it going five across instead of three. This morning, we went out early. There is a apple orchard about an hour from us. My son is six foot three. I took a bunch of pictures. I'll try to post them on the community board here. They have these little tiny miniature apple trees in Arizona. I don't know if they keep them dwarfy on purpose. And yes, the paint is mismatched. Whatevs, get over it. It's not your house, you don't have to live here. I don't love it either, but I don't have the time or the motivation to fix it at the moment. And um, it just wasn't great. The apples were icky and yuck, but I suppose we got a good 15 pounds of apples. I mean, it was $22 of apples. I don't know what that is. And then it was like $53 of apple butter and fudge and uh, freeze dried puffed candy corns and um, apple cider, which my daughter did not like. And um, then we decided to stop at Arby's. There's almost no difference in cost now at stopping at something fast versus sit down. And my husband, was almost attacked by two men following him in the bathroom. My husband is a Marine, retired Marine. Um, not with a pension. He was in the Marines when he was younger. And he open carries. This is Arizona, and we're just, we were just a little bit further to the border. I mean, this is Arizona. A lot of people open carry. A lot of people conceal carry. He does have a conceal carry permit, too. Um... And these two guys followed him into the bathroom and he had to like turn around and confront them and put his hand on his gun to make sure that they backed off because people are now getting jumped in border states because Mexico, it's not legal for regular people to have guns. The military and the police have them, but regular people, they're not supposed to. So, yikes, oh, yikes, oh. Um... So that's been our morning, and I just don't know what to tell you about it. I'm going to move you over here so we can chat better. I just don't know what to tell you about it. It's crazy. Sometimes it's crazy. It was a kind of a crazy week at school this week. Um, we are starting at our school, like a lot of places. They do those wellness groups. I know I'm a little cattywampus. You're going to just have to cope with that. I am legally blind. Everything I see is cattywampus. So you can try out, try it out for a minute. Um, they're doing these different wellness things to try to motivate, through the adults' example, some of the kids. Because um, here's the thing. My daughter only has gym one day a week. I remember having gym every day of the week until I was in seventh grade. Every day, an hour of gym. Of course, kids were thinner. And we still had a half an hour lunch recess. And we still had, I think, an, was it a morning or an afternoon recess until at least fourth grade through fourth grade, like she's in. They do have a couple of 10-minute recesses during the day. But like, what's that going to do? 
Um, and, and one gym class? I mean, give me a break. So, Wednesday, every other Wednesday is an early release Wednesday. Um, that's also something I don't get with nowadays. Makes no sense to me. I get that some people do a lot of things on Wednesdays because of church activities. Um, we did growing up too. We didn't have to get out of school early to do it. Um, so, oh, I'm so annoyed right now. So, um, Wednesday was a full day and they were going to do this adult walk. And I got my husband to come pick up my daughter, drive home, um, deal with her stuff for about an hour and then come pick back and pick me up. Um, and we walked just under three miles in about an hour. I'm hoping there's a lady in the walk that I'm hoping she lives close to me. I'm hoping she'll drive me home at least two weeks from now when I do it again. Uh, the other librarian is going to do it in two weeks. Um, and, you know, and it's just been a week. I mean, the drama's in schools nowadays. So many people calling in sick. There are so many more, um, we used to call them aides, now they're called paraprofessionals, uh, that they have around campus. Because you just need, you need more people now um, for supervision and stuff. And, and there's so many more special needs kids. So I grew up right around the time, because of my eyesight, they had, I have documentation where they have mentioned to my mother that I would qualify for uh, special services through the blind school, which we happen to have where I lived. I don't think she understood what they were talking about, so it was declined. And we had very few kids. Like, there was one kid in my class who was probably comparably blind to me, and he had somebody from that school that came over to our school twice a week and brought different magnifiers and different things that helped him um, do better. And sometimes she would help, like, read tests to him and testing stuff. So I was coming up back in the 70s when they were just kind of deciding maybe separate isn't helping. Maybe we should get everybody together again. And now... There are still, there is a school in Tucson that a lot of these kids could go to. Um, but that's another, that's a longer drive. That's another thing. And there's so many other support services that come to the school or come to people's homes that schools just actually do juggle more. Um, our school has speech, which I think is fabulous, because a lot of them don't anymore, and you can totally tell when you listen to kids. Um, and so it was, it was really neat to go on that walk, and they laughed at me, and of course, our superintendent was there, and he was like, wait a minute, you're going on the walk with your cane and your blindness? I said, yeah, I walk every morning, I'll be fine. Um, and I think we just need to do more of that, too, in our world. I noticed the sketchy gang of dudes at the Arby's today. And I just didn't, I just didn't react to it. And they knew I was with my husband, who they then went and followed. Um, and here's the thing. I'm walking out with a metal cane with a big ball on the end of it. Don't even. Stay away from my children. Don't even. And uh, that's something I don't love about living in southern Arizona. You know, it was nothing like living near the Canadian border, which I didn't live as close to the Canadian border, but I was in Minnesota. 
I mean, it's just not the same kind of concerns and uh, issues that we have kind of constantly down here. But it was a long week. The kids came back after their two week fall break as if they'd never been in school yet this year. All just crazy town. And uh, got through it, it was fun. I certainly enjoy being back to it. I really, really love being there. A um, Couple more positions that have opened up. A couple people quit already. And I will tell you, there are moments where I think, well, I could do that. Would they hire me for it? Because here's the thing, if I'm there all the day, all the time, it's not like we couldn't use the money. We absolutely could. I got somebody going to college next year. And uh, who knows? Who knows? But I don't want to leave the library. I love the library. And that really is the best fit for me. So, so there you go. That's kind of where I'm, where I'm stuck at. And it's just regular life. Mitzi attacked a few javelinas this morning, and one of them was a little mad about it. I'll see if I don't have some pictures I could kind of post about that on the community page as well, in her little sweater. Um, it is so dark in the mornings now. It's hard to walk quite as much as I've been walking. Um, that's why I'm really excited to do that every two week walk. And I don't know if it's the entire year or if it's just this quarter. I don't really know. Um, but that's where we're at. That is where we are at. And People are like, how do you, I'm sorry it keeps blowing out. How do you crochet up those squares and then pull them apart like that? You know what people, it's just faster and easier to do it this way. And when I've got 10, 15 minutes at school or a day where I've got like a class, we had a couple classes that were on field trips this week. So there was a little bit more downtime than normal. So it's easy to just whip out a square here and there. Um, and, you know, I like to. I do think some of the people that get my blankets are happy about it. One of the big pink blankets I'm going to raffle off at Book Club in a couple of weeks, our middle school book club, Red Wild Robot, which by the way, the book is nothing like the movie. The movie keeps the emotion of it, but kind of veers from the story. And uh, after the kids read the book, we do an activity, and sometimes we watch the movie, to talk about how the movies can be so different. And the activity we're doing is a baby shower for Roz. So, I've got a big blanket and I'm gonna then raffle it off so that one of the girls, it's all girls this year in the book club, can have it. And uh, I just, I just kinda like it. It's hard because kids don't seem quite as direct as they used to be, quite as capable. It's just, there was a girl that came in after lunch kind of crying the other day, and she didn't want to talk about it, and it was just like, holy smokes, what's going on? What is wrong? What is happening? And her thing was, well, it's Friday. And I'm thinking, I... I hope you're just a little emotional. 
I hope nothing really serious and bad went on. Because here's the thing, we're supposed to ask them, and we do, but if they're not going to talk about it, they're not going to talk about it. And it doesn't take much to send today's kids over the edge. They really do deal with a lot. They deal with a lot. Um, kids nowadays understand at a pretty young age that the economy is harder, rougher on families than I think necessarily we felt. Um, the school has a Halloween kind of festival thing. I do not want to go to it. I find some of this stuff going every single year and doing the exact same thing to be a little bit boring, especially when nobody talks to you. No other kids talk to you, um, that kind of thing. And we have to pay to get into it. All these things, you have to pay to get into them. So, yeah, so that's where we're at. That's where we're at. But it was fun to walk around a little bit with the kids, get outside today. Um, and just get out of the house. What are your fall things to do that? What are your favorite fall projects? Look with your heart first, not your eyes, and enjoy your crafting. <laughs>